Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to add an auxiliary input to your stock C5 radio. And if you're like me and you hate listening to the regular radio because they keep playing the same songs over and over again, and you already threw your CDs out from 15 years ago, and you primarily use your phone for all your music, then you're going to want to pick up this cord from DiscountStereo.com. I'm going to leave a link down in the description on where I got this. Um, this is good for anybody with a C5 Corvette that has the stock CD changer in the trunk. If you do not have the stock CD changer, still go to that link. There's, If you read down a little bit, there's another link that you can click on for a different cable. I'm not sure how that one attaches, but if you don't have the stock CD changer, you can still go to there and then you can still pick up a different cable. Now, the only option is to really bring up the stereo to, to the modern times is one of the nicest ways to do it and if that's the route you want to go is to change out the whole unit to a double din now with that double din you get a lot of the new features with you know apple carplay and android auto but you know to have that type of setup it's going to cost you several hundred dollars now if you have several hundred dollars and that's the look you want to go for then that's perfect um also you can change this out for a single din unit um with that single din unit you know you can get the bluetooth you can still get aux on them but even with that, once you get the trim kit and the wire harness, you're going to be set back over $100 for a decent head unit. I mean, you don't want to get a $20 one. And then the only real options to keep your stock radio is to either use one of those FM transmitters uh, that connect Bluetooth to your phone. Now, been there, done that. FM transmitters suck. Uh, the quality on them is horrible. And then the only other real option to add an aux to your stock radio is to pull the radio apart. And you could solder some wires into a certain areas on the radio and therefore you can add an aux input to it now there's a bunch of guys on youtube that have videos that do this there's a few tutorials on the uh forums that show show you how to do this you can do it to the radio i think there's also a way you can tap into the xm radio wires to do the same thing um now either option is going to you know cost you time so that's something that you have to think about for me i like simple i like quick and easy so I picked up this cable from Discount Stereo. Like I said, this cable was $52 shipped to the house. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute how easy this really is to install. I'm going to show you how to do this in real time, just so you can see how quick and easy this is. All right. When we come to the back, all you have to do is take, take this out of the way. There's your CD changer. So let me get you guys set up here. And right, once you have your CD changer, now all you have to do is reach down here, undo the clip for the stock harness here, take your discount stereo cord, has this white connector that's just going to plug straight into this. Click that in. Then you're going to take the black harness here, and you're just going to click this in to that same connector. Once that's clicked in, now like I said, you're going to have to put a CD in the CD changer. When you come to the CD tray, take out the lower CD. That's your CD slot for number one. You're going to take your CD, put it face down in there, click that in, put that back in, and close the door. Now it's going to cycle through all the CDs, but it's going to load that CD into the CD changer. Now once that's done, I mean, you're going to have this cord, right? So I'm going to probably fish it around, go this way. And I'll have it come up somewhere behind, you know, on the right-hand side of the uh, armrest there. But I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to go back up to the front. All right, now here we are back inside. Now this kit did come with its own three-foot-long aux cord. Which is very nice um so all you have to do once you come in here just to show you that the cd changer still works you turn this on it goes to disc one track two as you can see it's going to play whatever songs in there and all you have to do is connect this to there come to your device now i'm using my ipad only because i use my phone to uh to do all the recordings so here we are on here all right Brentley Gilbert. You can hear that the sound quality is pretty good. 
in the next song. Teaching is a pursuit. Of course, it's a fucking head. When you see I'll be right back. All right, so here we are back. Now you see we got Florida Georgia Line playing. Next song, Jason Aldean. You can hear the sound quality is pretty good. And then once you're done with this, just unplug it, and then you're back to your CD changer. Or if you still had it plugged in, and you're listening to this, you can easily just change back to FM. Or even if you had a CD in here, you can just change the CD in here if I had. Well, I do have. So, that's it. So that's going to do it for today's video. That's a quick and easy way to add an aux port to your C5 Corvette. Now, this works for any GM vehicle from the mid-90s to about the early 2000s. Again, this kit is only for if you have that stock CD changer in the back. If you do not, still follow the link in the description. There will be another link in there in, in that description that uh, will lead you to a different cable and a different connection to connect somewhere else in the vehicle. Now, of course, you can go with any of the other solutions that I talked about, but for me, I wanted to keep the stock radio, and I wanted something that was plug-and-play. I didn't want to really fool around with anything that would take me an hour or two. I mean, you've seen my previous video with the HVAC uh, issue, so I fixed that, so I'm not afraid to do any of those changes. It's just something that's going to take me an hour or two, and you know what? That was, what, a matter of 20 seconds. Now, yes, I have to hide the wire in the carpet and all that, but that's going to take me another 5-10 minutes. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.